Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the basics of nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over what a cast to node is, how it works, and how it can use it in your game. So a cast to node, as it sounds, casts to a blueprint of your choice. So this can be a character, a vehicle, a bush, or just literally anything that is a blueprint in Unreal. But what does casting actually mean? Well essentially when we cast to something, for example a character, it allows us to access anything in that blueprint. So for example it's components, it's variables, and we can basically do code as if we were in that blueprint itself. So instead of having to open up that blueprint to do code, we could do it in a different blueprint, for example the level blueprint. So this means we can easily access and set variables in different blueprints depending on a condition in a different blueprint. So again, if you're in a level blueprint, you can access the character blueprint and set variables inside the character from the level. For example, if in our character blueprint we have the variable is outside, so I'll make that now is outside question mark and we'll make this a boolean like so. And we want to set this to true when we leave a certain box collision, we'll need to do this in a level blueprint. So like I mentioned, we'll open the level blueprint. We'll also also just get in a box trigger here, very simply. Box trigger like that. And then again, open the level blueprint up here. What we'll do is we'll just come out of event tick just for ease of this tutorial example. And then we'll come out of this and cast two. And then it's gonna be our character blueprint as that's where the variable is that we want. So what we want is to cast to the third person character as that is what my character is named. So like so. Now for our object wildcard here, which is this object here, in this example here, what we're gonna to want to do is get the player character. And now this is because as we're referencing the character blueprint, this is a character pawn. So the get player character is the correct object class for this. I'll explain this a bit more in a minute. Then we'll come out of as third person character here. And what this means is just that we are accessing this blueprint. So this will be as and then the name of the blueprint. And again, it just means we're accessing this blueprint here that we've casted to. So then we can simply get or set anything in here. So again, in this example, what we want to do is set our variable. So what we named the variable is, is outside. So set is outside. And you can see that comes up there. So this variable isn't actually in the level blueprint. It's in our third person character. But as we are casting to it, we can access it here. And we'll just plug that into the cast there as well. So the execution nodes go in there like that and we're just gonna tick is outside as we want to set this to true, as we're now outside. And so to test this out, I'm not actually going to leave an area for that box collision that I made. It will simply just be like this. So again, to test it, all this is doing at the moment is just setting this variable, but we have no indication as what this is doing. So in our third person character again, if we go back here, what I'm gonna do is once again, just get event tick, and we're just gonna get a branch. So if you hold down B and left click, you get a branch like that with the condition of is outside and this is simply just going to be getting a true or false so if is outside is true it will fire off this line of code and so if it is true all we're going to do is just play a sound and this is just to notify us what this is so I'll play sound 2D so it plays it everywhere and so I'll just put this as camera shutter and as I only want to do this once I'm just going to get a do once node so if I hold down O left click we get a do once plug that into the true there go completed into play sound like so, meaning that as soon as we leave, it's gonna play this sound. So this system isn't the most efficient or anything, this is just to simply test and show you what this does. So I compile and close, if I hit play, it played that sound. So if we keep doing this, basically what it's doing is when we play the game, it's gonna set this variable to is outside. So we could just do this with event begin play, but again, I'm not going for efficiency. So it's just gonna to cast to our character, set this variable, which will set it in the third person character, and so because that is true, it is then going to play this sound. So like I mentioned in that example, I'll explain the object a bit more now. So the object wildcard is essentially the class that our cast2 blueprint derives from. So when you cast, it needs to be able to access that wildcard and use that to actually cast to the blueprint. So we'll check to see if the object is a class of that casted blueprint. Again, for example, our player blueprint derives from our get player character class. So that will work as our character is a pawn blueprint. So I hope I explained that well as it can be a bit tricky to get your head around, especially when you're just starting. So you might need to mess about with this a bit more just to fully understand it. But I hope this helped explain it a little bit better. So you've got a head start in understanding. You might just need to practice a bit more to fully develop that knowledge. But I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what a cast two node is. I hope you understand it a bit more and if you do or if you don't let me know down below along with other requests for different nodes that you want doing in the future if you have any so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful 
And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.